Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Mach 3 screen set. Let me tell you what happened. Last week, when I released the first screen set, I had so much interest, my email box almost filled up, and I had guys requesting a more applicable, more modern version, less bubbly in terms of the buttons and cartoonish. They wanted something more modern and something they could use typically with mills. So I said, okay, I wanted to provide you with something that I found that I think many of you are going to like. I'm going to click OK. And this screen set is made by Physics Anonymous. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Physics Anonymous, you can see their logo right here. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, and their content is very interesting. They, they do a lot of building, making, all kinds of stuff, and I recommend you highly check out their channel. I'm going to put a link in, their, in the video description below so you can check it out. This is the screen set that they designed to be used with Mach 3, and I personally like this screen set. It's a little more detailed, cleaner look. Um, you can see your table display is much larger. You've got the uh, pendant version basically right here. Very simple. Um, typical uh, controls for spindle, tooling, your feed rate, um, your jogging aspects. You know, you can do uh, continuous incremental. Again, you can select it. Um, really a basic screen set with a lot of features. So check this out, guys. You also have your probing features. And again, for doing edge finding, I know my, a lot of my guys with mills are always doing edge finding. This is stuff that I feel will really be usable for you. Um, you can see the MDI has been integrated into this screen, which I think is really useful for a lot of you. Again, you have your feed right here. Still have the pendant available. Uh, you got your center, your probe Z, inside, outside for edge finding. And again, we still have all of our DROs present. Uh, and again, over here, we also have our settings for auto zero X, Y, and you've got all your search speed, slow speed. I mean, you go on and on. But for guys doing milling and more detailed work, want a cleaner screen set, I feel this will really appeal to a lot of you. One area of the screen set that I'm really super impressed with is the diagnostics. If you look at this, um, you can see here we have our axis, our outputs, and then you have OEM 610, 1115 inputs, outputs down here, enable, and then CPU frequency. Max frequency is in simulate mode because nothing's connected right now. PWM frequency, I mean, very, very thorough. Um, on, even on the diagnostic screen, again, we still have the table display. We have MDI. Um, you've got all of your settings here for your access. And to top it all off, you still have your G-code cheat sheet, so to speak, for G-codes and M-codes. As guys are new, using a screen set, want to get more familiar with Mach 3, we all know one of the biggest headaches, I should say, is trying to remember these. They're right there for you, and they're very easily accessible. Just click over here, and they're right there. So, again, very, very cool. Another cool feature, you can see all your icons on the top. If you come over here to PA, which is their logo once again, if you click on this, you can see they're gone. You want to bring it back, you click on it again, and you can bring it back. So, again, very, very cool, clean screen set, and you still have full functionality of the icons on top for um, Mach 3. So again, I hope that this has been helpful. I definitely want you guys to check it out. And again, loading, I've got previous files loaded. That's why you can see right here when I click that, we can pull them up. Uh, I'm going to pull up Roadrunner, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You can see table limits, disengage, engage them. We'll zoom in a little bit. You'll see Roadrunner. And of course, you've got the typical drag and manipulate of all your files. So again, everything has been covered here. Very, very cool. And it's really up to you as far as, once again, what screen set works for you. Last week, I know some guys love that screen set. This week, I feel some guys are going to really love this screen set. Personally, out of the two, I like this one a little better. I like it a uh, more clean look. And again, this has basically every feature every end user will require. You're still going to want to go in and, you know, you don't have all the features as far as doing um, any type of calibration. That stuff will come first and then you would put the screen set in or at least install it because, again, installing it is just as quick as going load screens and then you would just come over here, scroll all the way down. You can see I've got the dark screen set. Here's a stock screen set and then you've got the PA and, of course, you've got your plasma. We just come over here to 1024, click open. And it should load, and there we go. And then we can go to settings, set step per for calibration, and we're in. So, and then when you guys are done doing this, of course, you can come in here again. We'll go under view, we'll go load screens, and we'll come back and we'll go PA interface, click open, and it should switch over, and you'll be set. There you go. 
So again, very interesting to use screen sets and to use them in terms of learning how to work with them because again, every screen set is going to have different features. None of them typically have every feature, so these are things to keep in mind. Now for the next step of how to install this in your computer very easily. Let's do it straightforward. I'm going to close out here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Physics Anonymous site. I'll put a link in the description so you'll be good with that as well. And all we're going to do then after you download it, now of course when you download it you're going to either default download it to your downloads folder or you can select to download it to your desktop. Now I've already done that. So again we'll close out of this. You can see I've got the file right here. It looks like a zip folder. I'm going to double click on it. Once again, just like my previous video, you're going to hit the left mouse button and you're going to click on one. Now you're going to hold down control and now you're going to hit the left mouse button again. And there you go. Now the files are selected. I'm ready to copy. I'm going to go right click on the mouse and I'm going to go copy. And I'm just going to come out of this and I'm going to go into my C drive where Mach 3 is, go into Mach 3's folder, and now what I'm going to do is I don't want to highlight a folder. You want to get it right in the middle like that, where there's no folder highlighted. Just move your mouse very carefully, right-click your mouse button, and once again, paste. Now you can see I've already done this because it's asking me to replace the files in this destination. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it installed. You will not get that message. You will go through and simply copy and paste and just yes it. If it asks you anything, just yes it and get out. And once again, you'll have your screen set loaded. Then once again, all you would do, you're going to come into Mach 3. Now I already have the screen set loaded, but we'll go over it one more time so guys will be on the same page. First, reset your e-stop because it's most annoying. Then we'll go into View, Load Screens. And we scroll down. And once again, you'll see that PA interface V05.set. Click on that. We'll click on it twice and now it's going to load the screen set and you'll be set once again guys that's how simple it is so again i hope that this video has been helpful i hope it will help many of you with the mill who really want to get more in tune with a nice clean screen set with a lot of options i think it will help many of you thank you all for your support and again we've uh, broken 100,000 subs which i'm real proud of guys so i want to say thank you for uh, everyone's support i really do appreciate it over the years take care